Hello. In this episode, we'll um, try um, implementing linear regression with Python. Um, and Python has readily um, made um, packages available. So it's going to be a very simple uh, programming exercise. So let's go to Google Drive. I already went to my Google Drive and you can upload a file. Um, um, and um, I already have it here. Um, so the linear regression. So um, as usual, um, we'll use NumPy to handle the arrays and we're we'll, uh, going to plot using matplotlib pyplot, nickname it PLT. Um, I'm going to load the data uh, using the pandas and the regression package is stats model API. Um, I nickname it as SM. Okay, so let's go ahead and load this library. So what data we are going to use? Uh, let's see, I have here an email, uh, I mean, a web link. It's a salary data. And what it does is that you can go ahead and download it, click download and it will download it. I already have it, yeah. So the salary data is basically two columns, the years of experience and salary. So we want to know, how the years experience relates to one's salary. Okay. Um, so let's uh, upload this data. Um, once you have saved it in your uh, local folder, you can go and upload it and then um, read it into um, pandas using panda read CSV, the salary CSV is the file name, and I'm saving it in a DF. And I'm going to create the X, which is the explanatory variables and the Y, the variable I want to explain. X will be in the salary, the years of experience, and my Y variable will be the salary. Okay. So um, um, it, remember the column starts with zero. So Y of uh, one will be the second column, which is the salary, X will be, well, everything up to minus one, we only have um, the, uh, the remaining other column, which is the years of experience. So here is, and if you look at it, the print the X, that will be the years of experience, remember, 1.1, 1.3 and such. Um, and let's close it. And the Y variable will be the salaries. So running the regression is really simple, okay? So the SM, the statistical stats model, um, the, the already ready-made package, I nickname it SM. There's an add constant. Uh, why am I doing this? Because um, like what we have done in the linear regression, let me just go to the previous um, episode. We do not want to have just the um, dependent variable, independent variable like uh, years of experience there, because then it'll have to go through a zero and fitting the line um, by going through zero, wherever you see it. Uh, like here, uh, having to go through zero is probably not the best way to fit. And the way to avoid it is, to have a constant, which also one, which lets you to have um, an intercept, meaning crossing the y-axis other than zero. Okay? So that is why uh, we are going to have um, a constant and add constant will just do this. So and on this um, um, x variable, in this x variable add a constant and have x2. Let me actually separately just run this for you so you can actually see it. Okay. Let me name it actually X3. I don't want to mess up with my and then X3. How does X3 look like? It has the years of experience and has a whole bunch of one, meaning the constant is this. So it added a constant. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna name something else, um, X2. So there's years of experience and a column of ones. 
And then, so least square is actually done here. I'm setting up the y and x variable and signal that I'm going to use OLS. OLS means ordinary least squares. It's the usual least square regression, linear regression. And then name the model EST. So that is my model. And I actually need to call the data and fit it. This is done here in fit. So it uses the x and the intercept and the years of experience to fit the line. I name it EST2. And then just look at the summary and that will get you the regression results here. Okay. All right. So it has an R square of 96.5%, which means that the regression is highly informative. The years of experience and the salaries are very much correlated. Okay. Also, you can look at the estimates here, the constant. Okay, that's interesting too, but probably the years of experience is what they're interested. Okay. So each year of experience leads to $8,731, $32 of uh, more salary. And the standard error is 200. Uh, so the T statistic is uber large. Isn't it? So which means that it is very, very statistically significant, meaning it is this 8,732 is a number very different from zero. And the possibilities of this being confused with zero is 0%. Okay. So it is a very significant relationship. So this is basically the, what the uh, regression tells you. Uh, you can also plot it. So it says, I'm gonna just for convenience show the optional data points using the scatter plots, scatter command X and Y given. And then I'm gonna plot which plots the line of the Y fit in the fitted lines. Okay. So here are the dots of the years of experience and the salaries. And here is the line that fits smooth. And you can see that the dots are very closely centered around this line, which means that this regression line is very useful uh, in explaining uh, the relationship between salary and experience. So this was an exercise of how to run a linear regression using Python. Thank you for watching the video.